you guys. Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. Who knows where Finn and Lenny are? They might show up. I left the door open today because I feel like they're not as much of crazy animals. Um, but they could prove me wrong. See, look, he's right here. We'll know almost instantaneously. I hope you guys are doing well. And um, I'm glad you are here tonight. I would say if you can, grab yourself a pillow. We might use that as an, addition, a, ugh, as an additional prop. Um, if you don't have one, you don't really need one, but it could be beneficial. So grab your pillow, grab your water, grab your pet, if you'd like, and come on back to your mat. We'll wait just a minute or so so people can get logged on. Hi, Mr. Cat. You guys can uh, find your space on your mat. If you're here, give me a thumbs up or you can uh, say something down. Ooh, we got a little heart. I saw that. I can barely see anything all the way across the room, but I saw that heart, so thank you. If you're again are just jumping on, say you're here or give me another heart because they apparently make me really happy. <laughs> and then, like I said a moment ago, grab yourself a pillow today so you can just have it as a, an additional little prop if we need it. Um, so I'll give you guys a second to do that, get your water, get your mat all set up. Oh my gosh, you guys, he's so needy. So cute. Go ahead and give a drink of your water. And then when you guys are ready, make your way all the way down to your mat. You can go ahead and set your watch. Um, I'm going to aim for around a 35 minute session today. My guess is it'll turn into 40 minutes because uh, apparently I don't know how to tell time when we're moving and flowing and all of the good stuff. But it's only going to be good for you guys, so you're welcome. Right? So come on down to a seat. This would be a great time to take that pillow, set it underneath of your hips. And then either come into a, just a regular cross-legged position or bring the top of one foot down and then stack the other foot directly in front of that. If that's not available to you, just come into that cross leg. Um, I want you to rotate your hips forwards. That way we're starting to get a little opening into our low back. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and sit up nice and tall, bring your hands into your lap in any comfortable position, and close your eyes. And you guys know, we always start with our breath. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, let it go. One more, just like that, in. Exhale, let it go. Relax those shoulders. And just let your breath come to a normal rhythm, in and out through the nose. Making sure you're sitting up nice and tall. And just focusing on that breath. And if you're new to yoga, this time frame that we do where we sit and we breathe, this is the hardest for a lot of new yogis because you have all of the thoughts <laughs> running through your head. And this is the time not to try to squish down those thoughts, but instead let them pass, but don't give them energy. Don't let them control you, right? We start to think of all the things that we can't do or we're not good enough at and we have these limiting beliefs. And instead, you notice the thought, ask yourself, is it, is it true? It's most likely it's not. And then tell yourself what you're supposed to hear. So if it's, I'm not flexible, I will gain flexibility, right? And it's all of the things that we hear in our head over and over and over and over all day long that we start to believe is the truth and that becomes a reality. And unfortunately, kind of exhausting, but it's a thought, it's in our head, it's something we can control, right? So we first breathe, take a big inhale in through the nose, exhale, and just allow your mind, allow your body to start to soften, getting a little heavier into your mat. And when these thoughts just pop up, just say, I'm thinking. Right? Don't give them extra energy. Let that thought pass on by, because another one's bound to come up soon enough. 
So when they do, start to focus on that breath. So take an even bigger inhale. Exhale, let it go. You can say the word in on your inhale. Out on your exhale. Or you can begin to count the breath to just hold your attention there. One as we inhale. Two on the exhale. Three. Four. And keep that going until you get to ten. Now notice if by counting your breath, if you felt just even in those few seconds, a little extra ease in your body and in your mind. So we're gonna keep focusing on that breath, inhaling in through the nose and out. With that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. We're gonna focus on what is actually lifting as we breathe. So just take a normal breath now. Maybe you notice your chest was lifting, your shoulders are still really tense and up towards your ears. That's where we tend to hold in a lot of that stress. So first, relax your shoulders down. Again, if we notice that chest is lifting, we wanna really focus on engaging your belly too. So as we inhale, feel your entire front side of your body lifting away. So take a big breath in. Hold it there. As we exhale, draw your belly button into your spine and really start to press that air out. Let it go. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract, press it all out. We're gonna do two more just like that. In, out. Last one, in, and out. Great job, you can open your eyes, bring your hands right down by your hips, and take an inhale, lift your shoulders all the way up to your ears, and as we exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall here, chest slightly lifted. Inhale, lift those shoulders. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Keep that going for several breaths. It's really working through those upper shoulders, because again, when we're stressed, we hold it in our neck, our shoulders, your jaw, your chest, and then we start to feel stiff, and we start to feel pain. And if we do absolutely nothing about it, which you're here, so you're doing something, it can lead to something even bigger and worse and more painful. So this is why we come to the mat. We show up, we breathe, we move, even if it feels weird, it's new to you. And we allow ourselves to relax because we're in control right now. Great job. Just go ahead and relax your shoulders down. Take a big inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Look up, big stretch here. And exhale, release your hands down to your side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, float them down. Inhale. Exhale. Great. As we inhale this time, hold your arms up high. Leave them there. I want you to take your right hand to your left wrist and lean over to the right side of your mat. Notice if you started turning your chest towards the ground. I want you to rotate your body so your chest is towards the sky and you're trying to look underneath of that left arm. Really lengthen through that top arm if you can. If this is not available to you, you can just keep your right hand down and left hand can come to your shoulder. Always find what's going to work with your body, with your mechanics. Focus on that breathing. Big inhale. Really feel the left side of your ribs expanding here. Exhale. Contract those abs. Press that air out. One more breath. In. In and out. Inhale. All the way back up to center. Look up. Exhale. Float your arms down. Chin to chest. Give me a shoulder roll. 
One more. Great. Inhale, arms come back up. Left hand goes to right wrist. We lean to the left this time. Big stretch. Lengthen through that arm. Rotate your chest towards the sky here. And just really focus on that breath. Really try to feel your ribs moving. I'm going to take one more breath here in and out. Inhale, arms go high, look up, really spread those fingers nice and wide. And as we exhale, float them down, chin to chest. Inhale, lift those shoulders. Exhale, drop them back and down your spine. Great job. I want you to walk your hands back behind you, coming onto our fingertips and turning your palms so your palm is facing that front wall. Lift through your chest here. Send your gaze towards the sky. And as we exhale, just tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Nose goes to the sky. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Holding it here. And just feel that stretch from the back side of your neck going all the way down your spine. And with that next inhale, send those arms high. And exhale, release them down in front of you. I want you to walk your hands out as far as you can as we start to hinge right at the hips. If you can bring your forearms down to the ground, that's great. If not, you can just stay up here just lifted. And then when you're ready, tuck your chin right into your chest. And just allow yourself to feel the stretch here. You can continue to lower your forehead down if that's available. And just focus on that breathing. Inhaling in through the nose. And out. Feel your body sinking deeper with each exhale. Maybe you can walk your hands out a little farther. Really feel your shoulder blades wrapping forward. And with that next inhale, bring your hands slightly closer to your body. Come on your fingertips here. And then I want you to lift your chest, lift your head up here. And exhale, we're gonna tuck our chin into our chest and we're gonna round through our upper back here like a cat cow, but in our seated position. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Really working that upper part of our back. Keep it going. Connect the movement to our breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more. Great job. Go ahead and walk yourself all the way back into that seat. You can spread your arms nice and wide. Find a movement that feels good for you. And then when you're ready, we're going to come onto all fours. So bring your knees underneath of your hips, your wrists underneath of your shoulders. You can set that pillow aside for right now. And keep it close by. You might find it of use. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Spread your fingertips nice and wide and really just press into that mat. Take a big inhale here, nice flat back. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, drop that belly, send your gaze towards the sky, lift your hips high. Exhale, chin to chest, round through your back, moving into our official cat cows. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. Come back into our tabletop position. We're going to take a big breath in. Then on an exhale, press into your toes. Send your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. It's okay if you have a big bend in your knees and if your heels are lifted here. Try to sink your chest towards your thighs. You'll be able to lengthen your legs with time. Focus on that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. 
and then bring your feet close together and release your upper body over your lower body into a forward fold. Tuck your chin into your chest and just focus on that breath for a moment. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your shins. Straighten your legs, straighten your upper body. And you're halfway lift. And exhale, fold, chin to chest. Inhale, bend those knees. We're going to draw a big circles. We stand all the way up. Arms reach overhead. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, bring your palms to your heart. We're standing tall. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Relax your shoulders down. Great. Bend those knees. Big circles. Stand all the way up. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Plant those palms. Angling your fingers slightly towards the corners of your mat. Step one foot back. And then the other. Around your cap, of course. <laughs> Shift yourself forward in the plank, making sure your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Pull your belly button into your spine and make sure we're not setting our hips high or dipping them way too low. It's a nice, neutral spine here. Tighten through your legs. Feel your inner thighs turning towards the ceiling and just take a big breath in. And now, if you have to, you can drop down onto your knees for a modified. Focus on that breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. In. And on that exhale, slow and control. Keep those elbows into your side and begin to lower without crushing your animal here. You guys go all the way down. <laughs> Belly comes to the floor. Feet go flat. And on an inhale, press into your hands. Lift your upper body away from the floor. Take a big breath. Exhale, send it back into your child's pose. Bring your hips to your heels. You can open your knees as wide as your mat and then release your forehead all the way down. Extend your arms overhead. And if that's not available, just walk them back by your shoulders. Always find a variation that feels good for you. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, let it go. One more, in and out. Great job. Just let that breath come to a normal rhythm, in and out through the nose. And close your eyes if you haven't already. I want you to bring a big smile onto your lips and think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. Next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our plank position. Making sure your wrists are directly under your shoulders here. Pulling that belly button in nice and tight. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, just tap that left foot outside of the mat. And as you exhale, send it back. Inhale, right foot goes out. Exhale, bring it back. Try to keep your hips nice and stable as you move one foot to the side and bring it back. Pull that belly button into your core. One more, each side. And then when you're ready, send your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. See if you can release your heels a little closer to the mat this time. If not, just keep them lifted. Find a bend in your knees if you need to. And just take a big breath in. And out. 
I want you to really anchor through that right heel. And when you're ready, just lift that left leg away from the ground as high as you can without stacking your hips. I want you to keep your hips parallel to the ground. Press into all 10 fingers here. Focus on that breath, inhale. See if you can lift your leg a little higher. And with that next breath, bend your knee and begin to step that foot forward in between your hands or as close as you can get. Reframe your foot if you need to. And when you're ready, send your body weight forward, making sure this front knee is over that ankle and then release that back foot down. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, arms go high, crescent lunge. Just focus on your breath here. Squeeze inner thighs towards one another. And see if you can lift a little higher. One big inhale. Exhale, bring your palms together. Set them down to your heart, elbows go wide. Slow and controlled, you're gonna twist to the left. Connect elbow to knee. And just feel that right elbow pressing into that left knee. Feeling this twist through your spine. You can send your gaze out forward or look over that left shoulder. Big inhale. And exhale. Keep it going. One more breath in. Great. Release your hands down. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee away from the floor. Step that back foot up to meet your front. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, big circle all the way up. And exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step one foot back, and then the other, shifting into your plank and move through your vinyasa. And exhale, you can take it into a child's pose or a downward facing dog. Find what your body needs. And then when you're ready, close your eyes wherever you land. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. And out. Great. Keep those eyes closed. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. Strong core here. Really press in your hands. Lift your upper body away from the mat. Take a big breath in. And out. It's holding it here. You can tap one knee down and then the other. Keeping your hips nice and stable. Pulling that core in. Trying not to have too much rocking from one side to the other. Nice and stable. Use your breath to guide movement. One more, each side. Last one. Send it up, downward facing dog. Again, really lengthening through the back sides of your legs, sinking your chest towards your thighs here. And focus on your breathing. Big breath in and out. This time we're going to anchor into that left heel and lift your right leg away from the ground, keeping your hips parallel to the mat. See if you can lift it a little higher. And when you're ready, send that leg forward, stepping it in between your hands. 
or as close as you can get. Shift your body weight forward, lower that back leg down, uncurl your toes, and when you're ready, lift it up, crescent lunge. Find your balance, really press into that back foot, press into your front foot here, lengthen through your arms, big breath in, exhale, palms together, bring them to your chest, elbows go wide, twist to the right this time, connect elbow to knee, and then look over that right shoulder, big inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more breath in and out. Release your hands down. Curl that back to under. Lift your knee away from the floor. Step your back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. And exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step it back through your vinyasa. And this time, as you send it back into your child's pose, you can keep your knees right into the center so we can open up through that low back a little bit more. You just might have to wipe a little more as you move yourself back. Allow your body to really begin to release. So take a big breath in. And with that exhale, feel your body starting to sink over your thighs and slow and controlled, release your forehead down. Close your eyes. And if it's too much to bring your forehead down, you can stack one palm on top of the other, bringing them into fists, I mean. And rest your forehead right in your fists. And little by little, you can remove one fist. And then the other. You can have your hands under your shoulders, or you can walk them all the way back by your heels. Allow your shoulders to completely release forward and 100% surrender here. And if you notice those thoughts, try to come back into your brain. Just start to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, and keep it going. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. that next inhale, bring your hands under your shoulders, press into the mat, lift yourself away from the floor, bring your hips to your heels. Now if this is too tight or too much pressure on your knees, you can take that pillow and just place it in between your thighs and your calves and then start to sit back. It'll give a little extra space in your knees here. And then we sit up nice and tall. <coughs> Move the shoulders back and down your spine. And just focus on that breath. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, float them down. Inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, exhale. Great. Send your body weight forward. We're gonna curl those toes under. Take a drink if you need to. And then sit yourself back onto your heels. If this is too much pressure through the bottom of your feet, lift up and away just slightly. <clears throat> and just focus on that breath, whatever sensation you might be feeling, especially if you've never done this one. You've come to my classes before, we always do this one. 
so beneficial to really get a deep stretch through your feet. They're carrying us through our day, and there's like so many bones. I know there's a ton. I don't know the exact number. But there's a lot of bones in our feet. So we gotta make sure we're taking care of the bones, the muscles, fascia, the tendons, all of that connection that helps keep all of this upright somehow. So again, take a big inhale. And exhale, stand your body weight forward, legs come to one side, and then bring your bottom all the way down. You're gonna shift your hips forward, planting your heels down onto the floor this time. Go ahead and catch your shins with your hands and really lengthen through your spine here. See if we can get even taller in our spine. Take a big breath in. And out. I want you to inhale, send your arms forward. Exhale, sink yourself back until you can feel your core engaged here. And then lift your thumbs towards the ceiling until you can really start to feel your limit. Now you can stay right here and just focus on this. Maybe you find a little baby pulse up and back. Or you lift one foot and then the other, balancing onto your tailbone here. Not compromising that back though. Keep your spine straight. Chest lifted, focus on that breath in, out, inhale, and on an exhale, release your feet down one at a time, and then wrap your arms around your legs. Sit up tall, and exhale, chin to chest. Coming into a little cocoon here, and just feeling that length from the base of your head all the way down your spine. Inhale, all the way back up, knees pull in towards one another, arms go out, take a big breath in. Exhale, sink it back. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, sink a little deeper, holding it there. Big breath in, and out. If you have that pillow close by, you can grab your pillow, hold it overhead, and then twist to the left. Inhale, forward. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold it in the center, and then we're going to lift up over our head, exhale, bring it back down, inhale, exhale, two more, last one, great, release that pillow down, and then when you're ready, continue the journey. Bringing your body all the way down. Arms go overhead, legs go long. Big stretch here. And as we exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch your shins with your hands. Give them a little tug. Lift that tailbone away from the floor. And then come into our neutral, stable position right in the center. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Release that left leg. <clears throat> Inhale. And exhale. Release that right leg. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. Let your hands come all the way down. And get yourself nice and heavy into your mat. Take a big breath in. And exhale. Close your eyes if you haven't already. As we move into our final resting pose, Savasana. This is our time to just be still, be present, focus on our breath. And again, if your mind starts to wander and those thoughts start to come in and bombard you, acknowledge they're there. Don't try to just stuff them in a box because that box will open someday. Just acknowledge they're there. Thoughts. I am thinking. I am feeling. I am experiencing. Not. I am. Right? You're not your thoughts. They're just something that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So if they're overwhelming, just start to count that breath. One on the inhale. Two on the exhale. Three. Four. Five. Six. Keep it going.
with that next inhale, wiggle your toes, your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and closed. And then go ahead and bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Take a big breath in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Take a big breath in. And out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I'm slow and controlled, come away from the ground. I hope you guys are feeling so much better knowing that you have a little bit more control. Um, don't forget, you can use that breath technique at any time. If you start to feel an overwhelm of thoughts coming through your brain, just take any moment, even if it is five seconds, to take a big breath in through your nose. And now, because whether it's our thoughts or a sensation that we're feeling in our body, sometimes if we can bring our attention to our breath, we can help calm that mind, which then actually helps calm the body. So. I hope you guys utilize that tool in the future because breath work is so, so amazing. And um, I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.